Well, I was born into a fairly ordinary middle-class family in Australia in 1951. Both of my parents were, they called themselves Anglican or Church of England, but they weren't particularly religious, and I don't really remember them ever going to church. But uh, by the time I was about 13 or 14, I started going to church on my own accord. I just seemed to be interested in religion, and I went to, I think it was a, I think it was a Methodist church for some years, and I took it seriously. And then later on, uh, a, a friend at school who was a very, uh, very red-hot Christian sort of convinced me to go to another church which was more evangelical. But by the time I was about 17 or 18, I, was, I sort of, it just, what I learned at least, didn't make sense to me. And um, I had had some vague or indirect influence of Buddhism a bit earlier. Uh, at one time, I can remember, my, uh, a friend of my father gave him a book to read called Seven Years in Tibet. And I read this book. It's about a German man who managed to get into Tibet in the 1940s and lived there for some years. And he eventually became a tutor of the Dalai Lama, a young boy at that time. Anyway, I read this book and it really quite fascinated me. It gives a quite a positive picture of Tibetan culture before the Chinese invasion. And one thing that stuck in my mind was, according to the author, that wild animals in Tibet were relatively tame simply because people didn't kill them, they didn't hunt them. And um, uh, they did this because they were Buddhists. And that really intrigued me that people, a religion would encourage people to be kind to animals. I like that idea. But uh, I didn't really think much about Buddhism, but that idea stuck in my mind. And then when I decided I was, uh, I'd lost interest in Christianity, I started looking around for something else. So when these Christians used to knock on the door, <laughs> I'd invite them in. And my mother would say, oh, for God's sake, don't invite them in. We can never get rid of them. But I wanted to know what they had to say. The Jehovah's Witnesses, the Mormons, all these people. Anyway, one day <clears throat> I came across a book called the Mind Unshaken by a British journalist, John Walters. And I read that and I decided I was a Buddhist straight away. Now I didn't understand all of it, but it described Buddhism in a simple, clear way and that impressed me a lot. And from that time onwards I started to read as many books on Buddhism as I could get. And that's how I, and then after some time I, described, I decided to call myself a Buddhist. And that's pretty much how I became a Buddhist.